Hello guys, this is Dracunex And what I am about to show you is the worst 3-on-1 ever The worst uh, teamwork that I've seen in StarCraft This is no joke So we have Mastu Mastu, which is uh, myself This is my old Nick, my old uh, character, so to say And three guys who are against me This is Bolt, uh, Zerg player, and Deadshot A Zerg player and uh, Dino, uh, who is a Terran player and we are on Monsoon map and you'll see why this game is so bad this is like the worst uh, team play I've ever seen so okay let's see what we got here we got uh, Master Master here on the top side top left side of uh, the map uh, on the bottom left we have Bolt, a Zerg player uh, here we've got Adenio on the bottom side and on the bottom right we have Deadshot, a Zerg player. So let's see how it uh, goes on. Uh, these APMs here, let's see the APMs. So we have, uh, remember, Mastu Mastu is, which is myself, I'm just going to call him uh, Mastu. Uh, he is, uh, he's alone over here. So we have Bolt's Super Scout. Uh, right over here. I'm gonna skip it up, skip a little bit. We have spawning pool on seven, which is a, a seven pool. Okay. We have a supply depot on uh, nine over here, which is an early one, but okay. And we have on an eight pool from Deadshot. Who's the? Who has the? I am the best uh, player of all. Master Master is the best from these guys. Okay, so uh, ha ha ha. Yeah, that's funny. You know. Bardzo śmieszne, which is uh, very funny. So this is a very funny scout. I'm not sure why he's sending him away since uh, I won't be able to attack him for a long time. So what's my tactics here? As you can see, I started Forge first. He obviously saw me if he wanted to. He obviously saw that Forge. So, the, um, so my point is this. I'm kind of fucked against these guys, especially I thought that these guys would uh, deserve guys. So would, will will uh, six pull me or something? They can't really six pull. They could eight pull. They don't really know where to build. So I guess what I have to do is uh, build myself uh, around with cannons. Make a lot of cannons just to protect myself here from this ramp and uh, uh, and this ramp. So what are they doing? Uh, that just has got the most uh, the most uh, the biggest army now. Uh, Adinho has a small force, which is one marine, and uh, and uh, Bolt has uh, two zerglings, which is uh, which is you know not great. I have to, I have no forces, as you can see. Uh, I will have to. I have a gateway coming on the way, so it's nothing special now. Uh, so yeah, let's see what happens. I'm I was pretty sure I didn't know what happened. Obviously, I didn't scout. I didn't have time to scout. Oh wait, I, st I started scouting now. So I guess I made it all the way from here, here, here. I didn't know where they were. I had an idea that uh, Bolt would be somewhere here or here. That's the only thing I thought about. As you can see, I got the, those Zerglings and they'll kick my ass. But don't worry. So yeah, he's sending his uh, six Zerglings over here. And uh, he has his Zerglings over here. But! And let me, let me pause the game and explain something. These three guys sat in the same fucking room no really literally this they s sat in the they were in the same room at the time so they they should have you know coordinate this he has five six zerling and he has uh eight zer no he has more than one he had uh well let me see uh how many zerglings did he have he had 10 this guy as you can see yes i uh, i just uh, you know what the fuck was that if he attacked me now, if they both attack me at the same time, uh, I would have, he, they would have kicked my ass now, pretty much, uh, if they send those egglings. But no, who cares? So he's just sitting around on his ass. He sends another uh, set of units, obviously not doing uh, metabolic boost because why would you? He has three three guys on that gas and he's not doing any anything. He has 600 uh, over 600 uh, minerals and some gas so good luck with that okay we have more for more zerglings here and what i'm doing here 
is I'm uh, building more cannons. Definitely, I'm I got a cybernetic score. I got uh, I still had one gateway over here. Um, I didn't do any research. Obviously, special nothing special. Uh, yeah, and this this <laughs> this guy had six workers on gas. Which is like a fucking record. Okay, we have another storm coming over here. Let's see what Adinho's doing. He's got a very small fucking army and uh, two barracks, uh, a factory on the way. No, because why would you make orbital command? Let's see. Let's watch this attack. So we have, I have one zealot. Okay, how many fucking? Hey, why would he move? Uh, why would he move his zerglings? What the fuck was that? Okay, never mind. I managed to rebuild a cannon and get another one. I also got a sentry so I could uh, force field myself or use a guardian shield or maybe hallucinate, so, which would have been a great you know, tactic around this time. So he sent his zerglings back again and see what's my secret tactic. Yes, Dark Strain. I actually went for. Uh, for Dark Templar because I, I thought that these guys wouldn't really... Yeah, he's making Zerglings. S uh, 8 minute mark, he's doing nothing but Zerglings. He actually find, found out that there is a Metabolic Boost. Uh, good for him, I guess. No upgrades? Why would you make upgrades? Uh, let's see what uh, what the others... He ex actually expanded. Like in the... It's 100 seconds, so it's 6-7 seven, seven minute mark. Not bad for a noob. Uh, he actually managed to spray some uh, sprays inject some larva, so not bad. Just zerglings. Why would you need anything else? He, but you know the good thing is he is that he made uh, a spire. Not bad. Adion is waiting for minerals, I guess. And who's got the biggest income at the time? Yeah, me. Okay, let it be. <laughs> because I was only one with saturated workers on the mineral. Uh, field and 29 harvest harvesters which is almost as much as three of them combined this is ridiculous I have another gateway another on the way another done uh, turning into warp gate I have a small army uh, but it's not bad I have a stalker and uh, oh and dark templar a sentry and two cells obviously dark templar will be on the way but again these guys have a uh, Combined of 26 zerglings, but instead of sending them at the same time, they're not. He, he built a spore crawler to defend uh, from any air attacks. Um, it's not very wise because... It, okay, I, I suppose that's good because for detection. Okay, okay, that makes sense. One worker over here. Uh, eight workers. <laughs> he has nine workers on, on the minerals on 10 mid mark. And we have a soil. Ah, oh, that was nice. Yeah, kill them! Slaughter them! Sla okay, uh, we have two Dark Templar. He actually find out, found out that he was under attack. Okay. And I'm about to kick uh, Adinho in the boss. I lost one of my DTs, so w which sucked. I didn't even manage to kill that much. But look at the uh, unit lost. I have the biggest unit lost, uh, the biggest cost, but uh, not more than three, uh, three of them combined. Or, or should I say, yeah, three of them now. So, not bad. Okay, I had another coming. This, the same, another approach on my uh, enemies. Boom. Boom. It's, it's always a good tactic to attack the, uh, the income, if you don't know what to attack. But if you have them. And in the meantime, Yes, uh, <laughs> I like this hatchery because it was completely undefended and yeah, he has a nice amount of minerals. Not expanding, why would you expand? Bolt, not expanding, why would you expand? The good thing that is that he actually have has some mutas, which is pretty, pretty awesome. Let's see how many, two mutas, two queens, uh, still better than this guy. And actually, Adino has a nice potential here, he could just put his siege tank over here Okay, he couldn't because I had uh, Dark Templar who would kick his ass. But technically, at least uh, if they went together, they would have got a lot of chances, really. So he sent, uh, so both sense he's over here just to take a look at what's going on. He won't find that much because there is nothing that would uh, help that would help uh, the spawning pool now. His very sl very very little army can do shit. So the Deadshot is pretty much fucked because 
he lost his uh, pool and he has to make another one. Okay, what about the other guys? Working somewhere? Working? No, why would you work? Why would you expand? Why would you build, uh, uh, make upgrades? Uh, yeah, let's just... Okay, at least he, he had an idea of building uh, SCVs, which is not bad uh, on this you know time. But, you know, he managed to get his supplies right, which is cool, which is very, very, uh, very good. Uh, he's the spending, let's look at spending. I had the biggest technology, the biggest economy, uh, expo economy expense in an army. I actually managed to expand, despite being uh, playing free on uh, one. So here's my attack. I managed to get rid of his uh, detection at this point, and I managed to attack the attack uh, death shot. So the whole the whole thing here is that I needed to knock them off because if I uh, if I waited, they would have done something at some time at some point. What we have here is an amazing attack. There's like a couple of zergs. And look at this, by the way. Take a look at this. This is a uh, genius mutal rush. A genius one. Yes, make mutas if you're playing as Zerg. Two mutas attacking buildings. Instead of attacking, you know, units over here who are undefended at this point because I didn't have anything, I could have technically I could have uh, spent some money on stalkers or something, which is would have been good. But I was too busy, you know, doing that. My APMs uh, wasn't that, you know, wasn't. It's not much because it's like 50, but comparison to them this is a uh, fucking match here and as you can see the DT <laughs> executor <laughs> are just dealing you know, enormous damage and they are sort of difficult to kill for these guys because they don't have much they managed to kill one but you know that's nothing still just small potatoes in comparison I, I we don't have any production from Bolt which is also ridiculous look at this uh, look at his number of workers this is pathetic he has eight workers on minerals and uh, four or on gas at this point. Look at okay, I'm not commenting on that shot because he has rebuilt his base, but he has a shitload of resources. In, instead of giving the resources, he does nothing. Uh, and he also had a <laughs> big problem with that, <laughs> with spending his resources. Actually, Bolt is the only one who managed to spend his resources, but he had has a big problem with uh, not having enough minerals and having too much fucking gas which is awesome this is the kind of uh, enemies that I always look forward to. but just for you know a couple of times because later uh, that's get, it just gets too easy you know this is, this is not what you want Adinho actually managed to build a 4 you know which is a pretty advanced unit <laughs> wow this is awesome uh, I just can't say anything about that. Okay, so let's see, let's make some analysis here. I didn't know about their bases. I didn't scout that much. I scouted him now, actually, which was too fucking late. It was a pretty late. It was pretty lame. That wasn't good for me. I should have uh, scouted these bases some time ago. On the other hand, you know, I, I can honestly say that I played this uh, game in September, which was almost for... for uh, no, it was like four uh, months ago. So I stand the uh, career. I stand, you know. You can bullshit me with that, okay? Now. Seriously. Okay, so what do we have here? We have a very puny expansion with a lot of. He could have actually made a couple of hatcheries at this point here, if he knew about them. Uh, if he scouted. Actually, these guys didn't scout at all that much because they didn't know. Anything about this place, which is ridiculous. They should have scouted me at least at some point. Uh, we have a void ray. You know, when it comes to my army, a void ray, five dark templar, a nice uh, amount of stalkers. Uh, two void rays. Sorry, there was one on the way to to do what? To attack his base. That's right. Now it's time for Bolt to fall. He wasn't very good. He actually managed to make a roach. Okay, nice try on me. I will tell you that's not, you know, not terrible. He is he revealed? Should have been revealed. I managed to find that Dino's uh, rebuilt his his base. They didn't want to fall, and uh, that should build his third base actually at this time. Third new base. Like <laughs> he wanted to. Uh, what did he want to do anyway? I'm not sure. He wanted to expand his scout. That didn't work. 
as you can see I think he wanted to expand over here but because you know you'd think that's a good location but no not, not at this time uh, I had a very bad I had a very bad open uh, open passage over here uh, so that you could uh, so you could uh, de-energize the photon cannon but nothing special uh, yeah so it's pretty much uh, very cheap distraction at this point I'll just skip this part of the game <laughs> nothing very special happening here as you can see I, I I was speechless when I saw that you might point these guys are real bad but I I wouldn't say that I was you know that I was uh, very good not on Fuyon Fuyon 1 this is not uh, ki the kind of game that you should fuck up it really isn't you know I this is the worst uh, worst match I've actually seen in, the, in my uh, history so I hope you enjoyed the worst <laughs> match there ever was <laughs> okay guys thank you very much for uh, for watching the video and I'll see you in the next one I hope so this is Dragon X here um, saying out <laughs>